Hi guys, recent advances in AI-based image generation spearheaded by diffusion models such as Glide, DALI2, Imagine and Stable Diffusion have taken the world of AI art generation by storm. Generating high quality images from text description is a challenging task. It requires an understanding, a deep understanding of the underlying meanings of the text and the ability to generate an image consistent with that meaning. In recent years, diffusion models have emerged as a powerful tool for addressing this problem and they mostly have very well succeeded. But there is one major problem. These models still struggle to create human images with coherent anatomy, example arms or legs and natural poses. The main reason lies in that human is articulated with non-rigid deformations requiring structural information that can hardly be depicted by text prompts. Now most previous studies merely take pose as input while ignoring the multi-level correlation between the human appearance and the different types of structural information. But in this work, the researchers have proposed hyperhuman framework to incorporate structural awareness from coarse level skeleton to fine grained depth and surface normal by joint denoising with expert branch thus simulating and simultaneously capturing both the explicit appearance and latent structure unified framework for realistic human image synthesis. More simply, if we have a look at the overview of the hyperhuman framework, the researchers have proposed three things. A large-scale human-centric data set called Humanverse consisting of 340 million in the wild human images of high quality and diversity curated with comprehensive annotations like human pose, depth and surface normal. So they have prepared this data set. Then they have latent structural diffusion model that will that is used to jointly capture the image sp appearance spatial relationship and geometry in a unified framework third is the structure guided refiner it is further device it's, it is further devised to compose the predicted conditions for generations of better visual quality and high resolution so let's move in depth in this. Take a closer look at the framework here. Here in the latent structure diffusion model, the image X, the depth D and the surface normal N are jointly denoised, conditioning on caption C and pose skeleton P. Then we get an image here. In structure guided refiner, we compose the predicted conditions and we increase the resolution to even further resolution. Now this is the research paper available on archive. I'll put a link. The GitHub repo and everything is available for this paper. Please have a look. And now for the moment of truth we have been waiting for. Let's see the results. On the top left we have the hyperhuman output. That is the output that is being generated with the help of the methods shown in the paper. and there are other seven methods shown here for example the human SD this is not even a real we have so many horses here we have three horses uh, the face is kind of off the hand position the hand is not good fingers are not good and here we have there is no face this is SDX a little better but again the picture and quality is not that great we have T2Y adapter plus SDXL. This is somewhat good, but again, the hand is messed up. So you can see the results here. You can see the hand position and the horse and the overall picture quality is pretty good. Let's look at some other examples. So this is mastering the art of skateboarding is profoundly beneficial. So you can see the outputs of all the other outputs and look at this. This is like a real image the real photograph taken a group of men who are standing behind a banner that has various flags on it so there are different flags i kind of like this one t to one adapter plus sdxl but the t to one adapter this is also better but this looks like the same person has been generated 
here we see different images different persons uh, distinct persons and this is pretty great let's look at another few examples this one is a person is typing on a laptop and there is a person up on screen you can see these examples these are also not bad but what is this <laughs> what is this hand and the keyboards are very fragmented but here even this keyboard looks good and this looks very good this is a black and a white photo of a girl's face with teddy bears behind her this is again great this is hyper real this is hyper humans this is pretty great next several people walking on a city street one woman wears a headscarf others have umbrellas okay one woman wears a headscarf one woman but here everyone is shown as having headscarves this is good this is even better the quality is better but you can see the preference of uh, when we say woman uh, it assumes a younger woman but here it's a middle-aged woman several umbrellas but there is no headscarf let's look at another example this one this one is a girl is standing by the storefront while talking on her phone you can again see the picture good quality picture this is a small silver cell phone held up by any person's hand what is this I mean what are these hands these hands are absurd oh my god this is a little bit good this is one two three five six fingers and this is not even a real hand this looks pretty great hand and next we have a man holding kites next to a cabinet okay this is very realistic actually so let's look at some single images that we have here and then we are going to wind up this video so this is a man with a horse or over it a cow this is pretty good a lady with blue hair couple in a restaurant maybe skateboarding this is very good the distinct you can see the details are very good bike although there is some issue with the bike but the person here the clothing and everything is perfectly okay this is very realistic you can see the crisp details and uh, everything is so well defined even the spores are well defined this is again a great photography like image generative image this is not a real person in fact looks so real okay this is pretty good this is so cute this looks so real this looks like a photograph looks like my son who doesn't even exist this is grandpa looks so real so there you are this is the paper and uh, I hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel hit the thumbs up and share this video with your friends and families and now if you are interested in learning hands-on coding on AutoGen please don't forget to watch the next video this is your host prompt engineer signing off have a nice day